So up next on the Latrax Pre-Runner, little upgrade series I'm doing, I'm gonna replace the steering blocks and casters with these RC all-wheel drive aluminum ones. It's a pretty quick and simple swap, so let's get started. Now this set does come with bearings. They're not sealed bearings, but you do get a new set of bearings with it. I have my Fast Eddy sealed bearings in here, so I'm gonna keep the sealed bearings in, so I'm not gonna use these new ones, but I can save these for future use. But you get your hinge pins here, and then you get these little bushings, and you get four screws. So this screw here, for the link, I don't know, I have to take this out. I'm not sure if it'll thread into the metal or not. Okay, it does look like it's threaded for metal. That would go right there. Nice, okay, so that does fit. Just have to put some Loctite on that so it doesn't spin back out. That was the only thing I was concerned about, whether or not this would thread into the aluminum parts. So this should be a pretty quick and straightforward swap. So let's get it done. This little screw holds this pin in, the hinge pin. Now I'm using a really small drill bit, but you have to use something smaller than what the pin size is because this hole on this side is a little bit smaller than this hole over here. So you have to push this in from over here and then you can push the hinge pin out and that's how you get that off right there. So now we'll take the new one and let's use a new pin now. Okay, that's in. And then we just have to put this screw back in to hold that pin in there. We have to put that in there. Now we have to take our bushing, put a bushing in the top along with a screw. Let's put our CVD drive shaft in first and then feed it through there. Okay, that's in. Bushing on the bottom, then our screw, tighten that up. Make sure you don't tighten it too tight. So then we just take our links here, pop them back on. So that's how you do the front there. It's the same process for the other side. So once I get done with this side, then we'll move on to the back. Okay, now I got the other side on. They look so good. Love the way this is turning out. Now we have to do the back and the back is super simple. Pop the link, take the screw out, pull the pin, swap it out and you're done. So let's do that. We're done. We got them all swapped out. All in all, it took me about 15 minutes to do this. So let's get these wheels on. Project complete and wow, it looks really good with that red. Like the way this turned out. 